Good day everyone! Today we'll make an instructional material and we decide as a group to choose the instructional material which is rope and pole display board or well known as proud wall. Be with us until we made it. Materials needed. Scissors, glue, stick glue, pen paper, colored paper, cartagena, ribbon, border paper, felt tip pen, double-sided tape, ball pen, and paper clip. Here we go to the process. First, we decided to have a flower theme, so we bought all the materials needed. Second, all the materials are prepared. Then we paste the four cartelinas all together to make a big one through the use of glue and the double-sided tape. Third, we use scissors to cut and make a pink paper flowers and ribbon and paste it as borders. Then we put the lettering name of our items, which is Proud Wall. Fourth, we made anything as the students we want using ball pen and the border paper to put on the cardboard with their names in it, namely Lovely, Laika, Jenny, Redney, Janeth, and Angel. The perfect or the most beautiful product of the task will be pasted on that cardboard with the use of floor border paper, paper clip, glue, and stick glue together with the ribbon. After all the process, we made it finally until the night. Students understood the multiple purposes for a wall display. Student comments indicated that they understood the wall display was a useful way for them to remember what they had learned. It was a means for checking their ideas, it was a support to help them explain their ideas, and it was a way to share their learning with their families. In the classroom, teachers have a variety of options in the techniques and tools they use to teach each topic. We choose proud wall instructional materials because evolving wall display helps students keep track of what they have learned and help them make connections and develop coherency between ideas, tasks, tasks, and lessons. Students use the wall display in productive ways. It is important for students to understand how a specific task and idea fits within and contributes to their learning in the longer term and across a whole sequence of tasks. A wall display is good. It helps you remember what you did in the past.